I can call my man back still. Oh, Let's we're going go. for it again. I have to go again, fam. Yo, yo, Craig Riches, you're live right now, fam. It's crazy in the dunya, fam. Man is saying compy box, saying compy box. Man like Craig. Come on. <laughs> we out here, we out here. The first thing's first, yeah. You're back in the gym. That's very nice to see. I'm happy yeah. that you're not soaking. All right now, I still haven't seen, I haven't seen Dillian back in the gym yet. No shade, but I'm waiting. <laughs> I'm waiting. Oh I don't know. <laughs> no, nah, but real talk though. What's going on? Because you're saying things. You're saying you. I've seen the IFL. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen that still. I want to. I want to get into this because you messaged me about Trev. Um, you messaged yeah, me. Yeah, bro. What, what, what was that, man? What's going talk on? Talk to me. Sorry, you broke. You broke up a little bit. Say that again. I me, said please. you messaged me about Travis the other day, fam. What's like? What's yeah. going? Talk to me, fam. I can't remember what it was. I think it was copy box numbers. Yes, that well was off. it. Well off, well off. You know, I saw the copy box numbers. I was like, really? I don't remember it being like that. So mm. me, I had to literally go to the round and start like pen and paper counting these copy box numbers. And by the time I got to round three, we were so far off. I had to turn off the TV. It was like, we're not even close to what these fake copy box numbers are. It's mm. like, copy box numbers are off, but it's the same thing when you look at every throw. Like, when they looked at Javante Davis's fight, I think his copy box numbers was well off as well. Like, then I think he was more active than Rowley. I was like, there's no way he was more active than Rowley in any punch variety or department the other week. Rowley probably is winning all the rounds, although mm. he got knocked out in the end. But people are seeing this stuff and they're just thinking it's factual information and they run off the back of this. And it's the same problem I talk about as I was saying the other day, with pundits saying statements was untrue. People don't know anything about boxing, jump on the bandwagon, and this style Chinese uh, whispers start going on as well. Mm. It's great. Listen, is that is that like obviously alluding to like say because Tony Bellew was kind of really fully against you in, yeah, in every aspect that, in that, that thing. Is, so. that, that, that department gets silly because I pulled Tony Bellew and I asked him, I said, him, look, Tony, like, be honest, what's the problem here, isn't it? And he was just like, oh, I said, is there a problem? He says, no, like, don't worry about what I say. When in my career, people used to do it to me. I was like, okay, that's fair enough. But why are you doing it to me? He was like, look, at the end of the, was like, at the, end of the day, everyone's got opinions are like assholes. Everyone's got one. It don't really matter. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing well. But I'm saying, yeah, I still don't answer the question of why you're, cho you're choosing to do this with me. Like, mm. I don't get it. And it's the same thing, like, the last fight before the Boatsy fight in October when Obviously, I dominated the whole fight and stopped the guy in the pit. Tony yeah. Bellew's scorecards had me down. And I said, what? But well, it was an official who told me that. And I was like, no way. So I don't know what's going on there, but someone's got something against you. And I said, what are you talking about? And he said, his scorecard had you losing. And I started laughing because you're chatting wow. rubbish. And now there was a guy who actually had you down on the scorecard. And all the judges and everyone had you up, like, every mm. round. I said, no one done that to me. Like, so I thought I was curious. So I went home and yeah. looked and <laughs> I want to know if it was Tony Bellew had me down. On the what did you do though? Like, did you like? <laughs> were you driving and like? I, what, did you like cut him up when you're driving? Like, what happened? Yeah, did you park in his parking space or something? Just, just, it must have been. I don't get it. I think every time, what is it? Why do you keep doing this? Like, I don't get the problem. But I remember when I first turned pro, even I think after two or two fights, there was a JD press up challenge, right? Right. And Fifth one done, press up, all the boxers, they used to go around backstage, whatever, whatever. And obviously, I got involved. They asked me to do it. I'd done it. I won the press-up challenge. I'd done the most press-ups. Mm. Now, when it was time for the announcement, no one knew Tony Bellew was the guy announcing it. I didn't know Tony Bellew like that. And he was like, oh, I watched that Craig guy's press-ups. I don't think he's press-ups properly. I'm taking him off first. He ain't, his press-ups wasn't good. He ain't number one. I'm taking him off. I'm cancelling, basically, off the list. <laughs> oh, huh? So I was like, what's going on here? But I tweeted about it. But I, so there's, there's a history here. He's <laughs> been getting vaccinated. So, to be honest, like, I was only like two or three, and I was like, well, you don't really know me like that. This can't be personal. I don't know. You know, you start checking you know off, what? yourself. Like, <laughs> All I'm it's saying crazy. is the compu box here. and the press ups were the compu box and the press ups were <laughs> 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 No, nah, but wait, the box. 
Before Craig, before we move on though, what what do you what do you say? Because we obviously we put it about the situation. What do you say to the people that say, you know what, you need to be a bit more aggressive and force yeah. the action, and we're expecting more let, from you in your next let, outing? Let me, are, you, are you taking that? Let me, let me explain something to you lot as well. This is another agenda, yeah. Mm. What I feel like, obviously, there is more I can do obviously as a fighter, and I can improve. But with another agenda, what another thing I say, Tony Bellew, set into everyone's head, what they don't even realize. Okay, everyone from the Bivol fight, yes, I could have started earlier. So yeah, that was a good point from everyone. Ah, uh, if he started the Bivol fight um, quicker, he would have won that around earlier. Cool, I get that. That was for that fight. Now he set this tone that this is the issue Craig has. So. On my last fight with Boatsy, I was winning round one. Last 10 seconds or 15 seconds, Joshua put a combination together. But if you look at the whole round, I was winning the round one. So I'm like, how much faster do you want him to start? At the intro, do you want to swing as we're making the announcement? Like, do you know what, what it is, yeah? Now, I got to be, be real with you, Craig, yeah? So on the eye test, looking at this fight, you're looking at it and thinking, okay, Craig, first thing that stands out is, Ra, you're not wobbled by anything what's he's doing no matter how much the combos land or how much he lets his hands go if they land or clean or they're not you you're riding it or you're just moving correctly it's not wobbling you yeah so then secondly you think okay but now i need craig to do i need craig to do that to him now i need craig to test him now see if he can take craig's power and it feels like is this what is this knockout king 2002 or fight night where you just re sport we take even though i'm not hurt from the shot you're getting punched in the face. You don't just start taking punches for no reason. No, I, I do hear you. I do I'm hear you. But, but if... I start taking shots because I can take them. No, I hear what you're saying. I'm not saying that you're obviously standing there, but it's like... It, well, actually, if... well, actually, oh. so I was aggressive, right? Yeah. Well, actually, so I was aggressive. So you've got to remember, like, well, actually, going to be coming. So mm. I'm boxing. He's coming. There's obviously times, obviously, in the fight, I've mixed it up to him. When he took the back foot, I've then got aggressive. But stylistically, he's going to come under the box. Mm. Then I'm going to come when he's not being aggressive. I'm going to be aggressive. But you've got to be calculated on what you're doing there. You can't just go in there, put your chin down and start windmilling. And that's the problem because of the general media and the people in the UK. If, you ain't putting your, if you're not in the fight of the year with your chin down and windmilling, it's like, oh, you're not being aggressive enough. But in America, if I was doing the same thing, people go, oh, that's the art of boxing, hit and not be hit. Boxing on the back foot's cool in America. Slipping shots and having good defense and boxing off, that's great. But here, people are jumping on this general conception of what these these guys are talking about, about always being aggressive. Like, how much time did you see, like, Floyd or Crawford in their fight just being aggressive? Or, even like, Javonta, even Javonta yesterday, weren't Javonta showing, the other day, he, he fought on the, the back, back foot. foot. And, yeah, he fought on the back foot. Round. Yeah. Sixth round, what person made one comment to say Javonta needs to be more aggressive? What person? No, yeah, no, I, I do hear that, but it's like you if you go okay, let me ask you another question. Did you have how did you score the fight? Did you are you cool with the decision the way it went, or do you feel like you won the fight? I scored I scored it, I scored it the same as the freelancers with no agenda. Steve Barnes throws and the other one scored it. They had me up one round, one that had me up, one had it a draw. One said three out the three on the three pundits of the mm. show who actually know boxing who isn't part of anything, they're freelancers. Mm-hmm. Two out of the three had me up one round and one had to draw. So when I look at the fight and I said to myself, I wasn't sure as I've done the afterwards, I said I thought I'd done enough. But I would have to watch it back because I know people get caught in the moment. So mm-hmm. I said, Let me watch it back. I see Bun pulled me, so look, I'm gonna say it live on TV. I had one round, he had one round, he had a draw. What do you feel? I said, look, I have to watch it back, but that's how I felt at the time. Like, granted, everyone said, close fight is what you like. Certain times, I might be boxing for like two minutes, 40, whacky for a nice eye-catching flurry, 10, 20 seconds in the round. Did you like his flurry? Did you like my boxing consistently for the two minutes or whatever? No, it wasn't like super like putting my hands together, being aggressive around 10-shot combinations. It was more pop shot and jabs here, jabs here, one, two here, jabs here. Mm. Whacky, when he got busy, he threw a nice combination flurry together. Um, mm. Whether some of them landed that didn't land, people were looking at it like, oh, for a flurry, I might give him that round. But then Craig was boxing for the two minutes, whatever, I'll give him that round. So it was objective, innit? But mm. then, like, to turn around and he's like, if I had done it the opposite way, people would have said, oh, you need to get more busy. You only threw a flurry here and there. People are always pointing out every little thing I do. If I box 
for two minutes forty. I'm gonna get criticized for not playing the flurry. If I just play a flurry, I'm gonna get criticized you know for not being busy. Well, I think, I think, I think, I think, no, no, one second, bro. One second, bro. I think I think also what it is is like when people kind of look at you going into this fight, they know that it's not gonna be a, a fair assessment on the cards. It's not gonna be you're still like obviously Boatsy would have been the A side. So Dominance would have been the order of the day, essentially. Do you see what I'm saying? I need to need like we would have liked to have seen more eye-catching moments from yourself. And it's like the boxing at times doesn't sell it, it doesn't necessarily sell it or seal it around on the cards in a way that a Boatsy Flurry does. Do you understand? Because from the outside, obviously, as the rounds go on, we started to see how durable and like how much more in control than you were. But from the outside, it looks like raw. Boatsy's he's letting his hands go, he's dominating Craig. That last 20 seconds, it could have been crazy. And then it ends, and that, that sticks with the, the you know the judges. It sticks in people's minds. Do you, see, do you understand? You so gotta take us, it. We're watching, my thing you is, gotta take it a bit more. My thing is, you gotta take it out the judges. Just, hands. Then do that's, just that's enough. Cool. Like, when you know if you feel like you're getting wronged by the people, it's knockout central, fam. That's it. That's all it can be. Because then I, I, I don't understand is if there was moments where I didn't press on him at all and there wasn't times where I hurt him in the fight and there wasn't moments where I hurt him and tried to press on the fight. Why mm. is a good operator? He's a world class yeah. operator. He's top yeah. solid. Yeah. It's not like I'm, 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 I'm hitting this chinny guy and he's ready to go and I'm just yeah. like Okay, okay. No, on that, on that, let me just stop you there. Yeah. Beginning of round nine, why didn't you put the foot down? That's the question. Okay, do me a favor. Go and watch round nine. Who won the round nine? Who boxed round nine? No, 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 no. You, no had him, you had him flowing at the end of round eight. And I was saying, no. round nine, why didn't yeah. you put the foot down? Okay, this is what I have my problem with the people in boxing. What's no in boxing? Look at the end of round eight. How did he finish round eight? He was, he was obviously he was he swinging, was... but you clipped him and made him want to want to yeah. hold. You made yeah. him want to panic. Yeah, he was holding, but the end of round eight, he was fighting back. He mm -hmm. wasn't just like wobbled and holding onto the ropes and um and his skanky legs in back and we're wondering if he's gonna recover. When you do a this is what people don't understand about boxing, when you do a long camp and you've done very good conditioning, yeah, mm -hmm. your recovery is quicker. So even when I hurt him and you saw when he fell into me, look how he was able to recover to start fighting back not mm -hmm. too long afterwards. He was in good condition. So you come out with a man who's conditioned like that and he has he's got a very a will to win and got heart. He ain't gonna just go over when you run at him. He's not going to just fall over when you start punching him. Mm. Like, you've got to test that. It's jabbing, you're boxing, you're skinny. You, you know what? Do you know, okay, so so from, the, from the outside, yeah? Tell me if, if, if I'm wrong on this. His stamina, yeah. if he looked as if he was having issues almost every round from about round four where he would stop in the ring near enough and kind of get his energy back for another flurry later in the fight. Well, so from, 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 no, from the outside, from, from the outside, when yeah. he's round eight and you start to break him down, it looks like, Craig yeah. is the fitter man. If Craig pushes him now, he could burn him out and get him out of here. So it looked like it was falling apart. Did it feel like that on um, the inside for you? What I did is I boxed him round nine. After I hurt him round eight, I boxed him round nine to rack up the round. After 10, 10, test to see where he's at. I used round nine to see where he's at. After I felt 10 and 11, I pressed onto him. Pressed onto him, pressed onto him. And then 12, he obviously knew there's three minutes left. He started fighting back for the 12th round. He had three minutes left. He started putting them together. I put them together. We ended up just going at it round 12. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'm saying he obviously had enough in him to be able to fight back. Although he was tired, he wasn't being busy at all of them later rounds. But it's the same thing. This is what I'm saying. Where I say, if you know boxing, you would understand. He'd done the same thing early in the fight as well. And this is what I'm saying. First round, he was smart because he'd done... What he done early in all the rounds is in flowing the flurry and then taking the round off. He done it in the opposite way first round. He took the whole round off and he took the flurry in the last 10 seconds of the first round. In the other round, he might have threw a flurry early and then took the round off. And this is why I say it's like what you like. He might have not done anything significant for the rest of the round. So, but mm. then people are not saying, well, he's really done nothing here, so that's Craig's round. You're just saying, well, but then Craig could have done a flurry too as well as he boxed him. If point picking of what I could I could have done it's not okay well he did work throughout every round and box mm. I would you listen Craig you, I do you, understand, already know, I do you already know my advice already I told you the first piece of my advice short back and sides fam the 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 hair's been cool right yeah, no, no 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 keep the hair but you got a camera with down nah, nah nah short back and sides Craig we're getting barbershop <laughs> fam no, we're the, we're no, no, I'm not trying to do no sound <laughs> in the town, my house. But what I did, I won't, I won't lie, 
I did, I'm not going to lie, I did plan to tie my hair up in the change room. I got caught in the moment again, amped in the change room. I forgot to put my um, hairband in to go get amped in, to go wrap that up oh. and go out. But that's here not there. Anyway, I get it. It looks more eye-catching when your hair's moving. Yeah. And then, listen, at the end of the day, the fact was tight. Someone has yeah. to get, to be honest, someone has to get, well, no one didn't have to get more. They could have done a draw. But I'm saying, he got the nod. Yeah. yeah by around. It is what it is, isn't it? That's like, it. I ain't crying. That's it. Look, I'll say it, I'll say it to you straight, yeah. I think you you had the tools. I think you still have the tools to beat him. Do you know what I mean? Like you're you're like top one of the top light heavies in this country, like even on the world stage. Sure, it, was, it, was, it was a domestic, but it was a world level fight. Sure. I, I consider it to be whether he got the nod by one round. Whether mm. you're right, whether he got the nod by round round, some people having me by one round. Some people having it a draw. It was a fight. It was down the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. So mm-hmm. someone got the rubber the green. He got the rubber the green of it. But in reality, if I thought I got it by a round or he thought he got a round, it was a fight. It was easy just been a draw down mm-hmm. the middle, whatever. And then we could have run it back. It is what it is. He got the rubber the green that night. Congratulations to him. He's a good fighter and a great guy. That's really... I, I, I don't, I don't want to take, I don't want to take anything away from him. I don't really like going on about how I yeah. thought I done this or he done this because yeah, the other day he got the spot. And I don't want to take away his moment of he got the nod today because I wouldn't want someone to do that to me at the end of the yeah. day. So what but next what then? I, so what next then? Fight, if we can move it on then, what next for you, fam? Who do you need? What do you need I, to I, do? My aim is still to get back to where I need to get to. I'm probably now... Where the fight... Listen, in boxing, sometimes if you're stopped in your position depends on how the fight goes, isn't it? If yeah. I went out there and got blown out, it would have been a rebuild stage for me. Yeah. As we said, spoke to you, of the boxing people, my team, etc. It's just a position where now, if we're moving forward to that world title, he's probably going to be one fight ahead of me to, to get the decision now. So all it is, I've got to be in a big fight next. I don't know who, I leave that to the team. Get in yeah. a big fight while they're, he's doing his thing or whatnot, and then I'm back in the contentions for my title fight or whatever. But that's what it is. I just leave that under the team. As you you didn't lose do, nothing. You didn't lose no stuff in the fight. Man. That was a hell of a fight, bro. Hell of a performance. I don't. I don't, I don't have a problem with who I'm fighting. Big mm. fights, I'm involved. And that's what it is for me. All my aim is to get to that world title one way or another. Who i got to meet to get there, I'm happy to do so. I'll leave them to the side. They, you need to fight him to get back in. So be it. Let's glove up. We'll tell me the date. Let me wrap up and get myself ready. That's it. I All like right. fighting. I'm the best fighting and I'm here. And, to be and bro, let me say this just before, yeah? Let me just say this. Your ring entrance was mad, fam. Oh, my days. <laughs> Do you know how mad your ring entrance was? Listen. I had a comedy show <laughs> yesterday. I came into the same song, fam. <laughs> no, listen. I'm not going to lie to you, yeah? The way I planned it, I knew that people would have got a bit like, oh, raw. But the energy the crowd gave me, I mad. loved myself. Bro, my, 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 my hood fell off. My guy was playing <laughs> over there. Yeah, you looked at in the crowd. I see you trying to put the hood back on as I was walking down. <laughs> but when I lost myself, everything went out the window. I said, listen, I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> the atmosphere, people, you lot the atmosphere jacked me. And i got to appreciate all of you come out as well because you lot made the occasion tremendous. And I appreciate come the support on. of everyone who come, come out on, as well, man. It was, come on. It, it was a, come on. Regardless, I'm not, I'm not happy with the result. The night was a good night, man. We both put it on the line. We both won a good fight. The atmosphere was great. The support base was mad. It was a good night. We had Lanny O2 and we had a good night, man. It was tremendous. Well like, done. And I feel like, I feel like, especially recently, I've seen a lot of like the comments on punk people in other countries because obviously the zone's now global. So everyone's got their opinion and mm. everyone wants their country to look the best. And I feel like me and Bawatsi represented the UK well putting that fight across the zone. For the well other done, country. man. Listen, bro. Big up yourself. Have a good evening, fam. And. Adam, are we-